do 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 odyssey is a fun word hey everyone in the internet world um this is reed here again i have my wife out playing board games right now so you know what that means i get to play with my stereo so what i'm going to walk you guys through today is a huge surprise how well it works on my system um i've been a fan of the youtubers for a bit now uh, followed some of his tutorials but he just blew my mind with his new odyssey one so buckle up i'm gonna walk you through really easy steps every single thing you need to know to get probably the best calibration you're gonna get of your system especially because it's only gonna cost you 20 bucks so uh stay tuned watch the rest and uh, i'll walk you through it all right without further ado what I need to show you is called Odyssey One by Obsessive Compulsive Audiophile on YouTube. Amazing work, love his stuff. He is uh, just a genius in terms of this, and he's actually now got credit with being the first person to take advantage of REW, Room Equalization Wizards API. And what he has done is through this YouTube video, the uh, I'll put a link in the, the description below, on his video, he has links to the files that you'll need. There's a GitHub repository where you can download the files. I'll walk you through all of that. Um, it's even got a Dr. Floyd tool um, curve built into it. You won't find it. It's actually embedded in the script, but it's there. Um, and uh, essentially his whole deal is he's been doing tweaking and changes to his system, phase alignments, everything. And he was like, this. This has to be easier. There has to be a way to do this all together and automate it as much as possible. So he built, using JavaScript, a little HTML file that you can put on your computer uh, at home, load up, and it will walk you through the process. And what it relies on is that REW API, which is amazing. It means his script can just talk directly to REW, do all of its stuff, get all of the power, harness the power of REW right within his script. Um, and what it grabs is actually the ADY files out of the Odyssey mobile app. So you can get the Odyssey mobile app for iOS or for Android. You just go to the Google Play Store or the iOS app store and download it. It is 20 bucks, but it is one of the best things, especially if you're um, wanting to spend a little bit to get huge returns. Odyssey One turns those modest returns into just like one of the best calibrations you'll ever see. I've seen people online compare this as better than direct live, which uh, for people who have the newer Denons and Morants, that's in the order of like five, six hundred dollars or more once you include the base management in there. So huge, huge value, which I always love. And this script allows you to use the app and then take that app results, the ADIY, ADY file, throw it into the script, the script then parses it and puts it into REW, and then REW does all sorts of magic, and then it spits out a new ADY file with all the adjustments that he's done, and those adjustments just go directly into the app. Um, you just move it around on your mobile device. I'll show you how to do it uh, on the iPhone. It's pretty easy with iCloud. And then you take that calibration, the optimized one, through Odyssey One, and chuck that into your receiver. So really, all you have to do, and I'll show you here, you, you run a new calibration, worth it when was the last time you did it you may have changed something get all of that um and then you take the adi ady file throw that into odyssey one and i'll walk you through that process and then once um it spits out the results you put that back into the odyssey app and then you put those uh, new optimized results into your receiver and you're done it costs you nothing because he's giving it away for free Mwah! thank you very much obsessive uh compulsive audio file you're the best and you just need some technical know-how. So I'm making this video because I want it to be as easy as possible for everyone to do this because the results are astounding. So please uh, pay attention to the rest of it. I'll walk you through all the steps and try to make it as simple as possible. If you do have any questions that I don't uh, cover in the video or it's not clear from the video, please, please uh, leave a comment and let me know and I'll go through it. Um, either add it to an additional follow-up video or I'll comment on YouTube. All right, uh, I'll see you guys in it. All right, so I've plugged in the microphone. It's in the first listening position. I'll probably adjust this a little bit just because I like it to have a little tighter to the back of the couch. Um, but the first step, and ignore the stuff on your receiver through your TV, because you'll want the app. So the first step will be to hook everything up to your receiver as though you're running a new calibration, and then fire up the app so that you can uh, get that calibration going. 
Okay, so this is the Odyssey Multi-Q Editor app. Uh, I'm on iOS, but it should look very similar in Android. And uh, you need to download this first, so, so it's about 20 bucks, and it may depend on your region. But uh, this is a great little app. Uh, so the first step is to download it. As you can see on my screen here, I have some other calibrations, and you can see the weird flat uh, blippy one that are the optimized ones, and they'll look like that. So uh, don't be freaked out if you see them like that. Uh, and I'll walk through starting up a new one. I'm gonna be pretty quiet after this starts just because uh, you don't wanna be talking while the calibration's happening. So you start a new curve, you look for your AVR, make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi. Um, so that's my 6700. And then uh, you verify that all of your settings are set up correctly. Uh, big thing is gonna be the subwoofer. Um, and you walk through it to make sure your mic is set up and hooked up. He'll walk you through all of this, which is great. Makes it easy if you haven't done this. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process. This is just the version on steroids. So I'm gonna um, pause now while it goes through this and essentially it just does tones across all of the different ones. So if you haven't uh, run the calibration using the app yourself, it'll run through tones, but it'll also start by checking the subwoofer. So I was running a little hot, so I had to turn it down, and then it could carry on with the rest of the calibration. And here's my impression of the calibration. Whoop! 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 One eternity later. Whoop! 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 Don't worry, I didn't count the 1120, I just did the math and save the file at the end and we're done. So I just created that uh, Odyssey file, the ADY, uh, in the multi-EQ uh, app on my phone. You can see it there, the Odyssey one. So all you really have to do from here is get it onto your device that has REW on it. So your laptop, or in my case, my Mac mini. Uh, I recommend if you're on an entire Mac system, you just go in, uh, you send a copy. You gotta select which one and then you just add it to your files. So that's what I do here. I've got a home theater on my iCloud drive and I just save it there. And then once it is in there, it is accessible from my computer. So now I'm going to go to the next step, which is getting REW beta and installing the Odyssey One application so that I can then grab all those measurements from uh, the Odyssey app. So you've already run your calibration with the Odyssey app and now you're ready to get the script. The nice thing about the script is it's got all the steps that you need to do um, after the calibration is run. So you click on the link in his YouTube video and you get this HTML here. What I have done is uh, copied this into a text file and then saved as uh, this Odyssey 1 version 1.2 because that, that's the version that uh, um, is most up to date as of this video, and I just put it on my desktop. And then what I do is I just open that file, right click, open with Chrome, and boom, it opens like this. Your browser will treat it like a script, and then you've got all of this information here. Uh, in the script itself, it has a link to the download for REW beta. So do that and then do all of the REW beta stuff. Um, it actually shows you all of the steps. Um, remove the microphone calibration in REW, uh, go to maximum measurements, uh, set it to 300. In my settings on the Mac, that was under view, maximum measurements, and then the cal files are here. So I deleted both of them. And then when it's ready, it's actually in the second step. You enable the API, uh, but that's in that preferences tab here under API but then you are ready to upload your Odyssey calibration file. So let's do that now. All right, now that we've set up REW uh, to uh, process those files, um, now let's find those um, measurement files, the ADY on your computer. So I just go in here, here's that Odyssey one for YouTube that I put on my iCloud. You can do this anyway, that works for your system, airdrop, email it to yourself. Uh, the files are about 28 megabytes, so uh, you might run into some troubles, but that's pretty paltry these days. Once you find it, they'll put it someplace that this script, so whichever computer you're putting Odyssey 1 and REW, um, put it there. And then you load it up. And then this is the fun part. So the Dr. Tools uh, curve is actually embedded within the script. So that the next part, and you may see this in Chrome, this file wants to download multiple files. Always click allow. Um, and uh, just put that tool target curve anywhere on your system. I've already got it in there, so uh, I won't do it. And then you'll actually see uh, the first part of the script is that it will grab that ADY file um, and kind of tear it apart for REW into the individual measurements. And then that is what will be imported into REW to do all the fun. All right, so it's all there. Uh, 
the next step from here is actually to go into REW, go into EQ. So this is a quick little one. I'll just take you right to it. You go to the target settings, you go to house curve, and you find that tool curve. So that's what I have there. It's in there. You don't even have to save it. You just put it in there and you close it. And then you go back into the script. So now that you've put the tool curve into REW, you need to find on your computer those um, extracted measurements. So I have them right here. I've got a little archive utility within Mac and it essentially just extracts it into a folder. Boom, it's here. And then the this is easy. You just select it all and you drag and drop it into REW. You take a bit, you get to watch the little scroll. Whee! And this is why you want to put that 300 limit on uh, up on REW. So there it is, that's done. And now you're ready for the next step. All right, so this is where you need that um, REW preferences open now. You go into here and you need to start that API server. That's just gonna open up REW. You see how it now says the server is running, um, opens up REW to the script. And then here's the magic. You just hit the button. And um, I get this error every single time. Um, so maybe I'll take a second to mention why this happens. I looked into the code and, and I read up on um, obsessive compulsive audio file, what he's doing with it. And it looks like Odyssey, when it runs its calibration, will um, uh, sometimes put a zero distance for some of its uh, speakers. And when, when you get a zero distance, um, uh, it's, it's stored in the AVR. Um, weird, long story short for this script to be able to use that measurement, you need to manually go in and put in the um, distance for this, as you saw it auto completed to 2.95 meters. So fun little thing, if you have not done this before, if you have a modern phone, they often have a, um, a feature called measure and you can actually in real time in space show the um, like put a point source in space on your center speaker and then put another point source in space in your main listening position I just put it at the top of the middle of my couch and then it'll show you exactly how far in space and it's pretty accurate it's not like you're going to be able to do uh, you know advanced cabinetry or anything with it but it's good for measuring in your room I, I've used it lots for validating distances and doing manual calibrations uh, for home theater so uh, find that distance and put it into here if you get that as your error message which I do um, and then you proceed and you get to watch it it's doing stuff and you get to watch it over here so what's what it's doing right now is it's actually um, uh, transposing the measurements um, across the different measurement positions um, and then it's cleaning them up. You can see how it's going from a lot of measurements to few measurements because it just needs to go down. I've got a 13, um, uh, 13 speaker system so it goes through all of those and the log is actually really good. If you go into the code you can see what's generating all of the information. And maybe at the end of this I'll go through um, some of it but you can see how it's pr progressing. Um, and my subwoofers are within the optimal distance. Uh, so now it's generating all of those filters. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff and it's all being generated through REW through this entire process, which is really awesome. Uh, I think REW is doing a lot of the heavy work, heavy lifting and uh, obsessive compulsive audio file is just leveraging all of that. Um, I get a lot of things saying that there's a phase mismatch in the crossover detection. I'm not sure what that means, but um, it goes through all of that. You can check the log and improve your results over time. This is kind of your first pass. Um, use this video as your way to um, check to see how to get into it. it. It worked and it sounded amazing the first time I tried it. Um, and I'm sure it'll be similar for you. Uh, so when you get to the end of that process, this will be the new ADY file. So put this someplace uh, where you'll be able to find it again. I do it in my home theater because that's accessible on my iCloud. Um, and then I just save it. And there it is. I have it now accessible for that app. And then I can use it in that app uh, to send to the AVR untouched. I don't need to change anything else at this point. And all of those adjustments, all the changes in REW, uh, all of the coordinated scripts in um, Odyssey 1 are applied to it as is, and I don't need to touch it anymore. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's amazing. Uh, and you have to try it. It, it really will change your uh, sound in your system. And it sounds to me amazing. Okay, here is the last stage in the process. This is where you grab that file, put it back into your Odyssey app. Uh, so I'm gonna use this YouTube one. You'll notice it's quite a bit smaller. Uh, it's because a lot of the measurements have been stripped out. Um, I'll show you what's in the uh, what's in the file itself, but really we're not doing anything with it. You can look at all of these, it's got a bunch of settings, uh, but we don't touch it. All we do now is we 
send it to our AVR. So uh, this is a step a lot of people forget or don't realize they have to do, um, but this is what we do. So I usually put it on preset one. I've been putting all of mine on preset one, so I'm just overriding the previous ones. Nice thing about having the app as well is every time you save a new copy of the files and you can duplicate them too, if you're playing with uh, curves in them and stuff like that, you can um, just send and resend and resend. And so you can try, I've got multi QX and I've got some presets. I leave those on two. And then I have preset one for all of these new Odyssey one ones. So you hit the button and then it just connects and applies all of the settings. Um, so it does some calculation in the app and with the AVR as it's applying these settings to it. So you just have to wait a little bit as it's doing some processing. And in the meantime, uh, you just have to wait. So uh, what I really like about this one is, as you've seen, um, it doesn't really require a whole lot of technical know-how. If you see my other video using REW to generate curves and then importing those curves into MultiQX, that can be quite a um, exhaustive and involved process. And this is, you run Odyssey app, you get the beta version of REW, and eventually you'll just use the regular version of REW once those beta features become part of the main application. Then you um, install the script, which is really just a an HTML file. And then you follow the instructions there, which are just a few little tweaks, a little changes you have to do. It's got the curve inside of it, um, tools curve. And uh, then you... Uh, process all of those measurements uh, into REW and then use the API and the script to um, get your end curves, your end uh, results as an ADY file. And then you put it back into the app and then you run it to your receiver and bingo, just like here, it is done. And uh, th really the results are amazing. So um, give it a try yourself. It, it's a really good uh, little tool here. Thanks again to um, Obsessive Compulsive Audio File because you did an amazing job, thanks. All right, thanks everyone for watching to this point. Um, so as you can see, the process is really easy and it will cost you the $20, yeah, for the Odyssey app, but it's totally worth it. Even without this Odyssey One hack, this Odyssey One script, so good. So um, thanks everyone for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, feel free to ask any questions you have below in the comments. Um, I, I love interacting with people. If you guys have some tips and tricks um, of your experience with it, Thanks again so much to Obsessive Compulsive Audiophile. You're really the reason I'm making this video. Did such a great job. Um, also, if you're watching this, um, I'd love to help contribute on your project, anything you can do. I noticed you were talking about uh, some advanced features that you'd like to do. I've got a little bit of experience in development work, so reach out to me, uh, comment on here. Um, you can also just Google me. I'm pretty uh, easy to find. And um, for everyone else, uh, yeah, keep tweaking, keep playing with your systems. Uh, you get the most when you start to dig under and, and start tweaking and playing with your system. Um, this has been one of the best tools that I've seen in a long time, and I'm sure you guys will enjoy it as well. Um, if you have bad experiences, tell me about it. Uh, I also love the comparisons. I've seen people compare this to Direct Live. I've directly compared it with MultiQX, um, and it is it is better uh, for my setup and for the way I've done it, and I've done some pretty advanced things. It's just amazing. So maybe down the road, this will allow for some um, use of you mic one calibration. Um, the, the sky's the limit. Um, I'd love if Mossimo and uh, Odyssey made things even more open because as we've seen from MultiQX and now with these sorts of scripts, REW, API, uh, AI, huh, maybe, um, the sky's the limit. And uh, what we get out of it is so much more bang for our buck and so much more value and just better experience. Like Atmos music sounds amazing. Atmos music and, and movies are just incredible on this. So uh, give it a try. Tell me what you think um, and enjoy your setups, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Did you know that I do all of these entirely on my phone?